Now to the pandemic tonight, and with the Omicron surge pushing cases and hospitalizations to new record highs, the CDC tonight with new guidance on masks in this country, now warning that loosely woven cloth masks provide the least protection with Omicron so contagious, and that N95 and KN95 masks provide more protection, and that they're especially important for people at high risk of infection or severe disease. And tonight, as this moves across the country in New York, the encouraging news, a glimmer of hope on all of this. Once the epicenter of this Omicron wave at the start, what the governor here now says they're seeing. Here's Ariel Reshef tonight. Tonight, the CDC is out with that long-awaited guidance on masks, warning that loosely woven cloth masks provide the least protection, that N95 and KN95 masks might be a better option, and that these highly protective masks may be important for people in high-risk settings or at risk for severe disease. But the CDC is stopping short of urging all Americans to upgrade their masks, even though health experts have been recommending higher quality masks in the wake of Omicron. The CDC is recognizing that N95 and KN95 masks really represent the gold standard right now. But at the same time, if those masks aren't available to you, a lower quality mask like a surgical mask or even double masking with a cloth mask still is better than no mask at all. It comes just as the government rolls out a new program tomorrow, reimbursing insured Americans for up to eight at-home COVID tests per month. But insurance companies warn it will take time to set up the new system. Keep that receipt and you'll be in reimbursed um, for that purchase. I just think it's going to be potentially a little bit bumpy here in the next maybe even several weeks. As for those free rapid tests the president has promised to send to American homes, the White House today said each household will be able to order four tests at covidtest.gov starting next Wednesday, and they will take seven to 12 days to ship out. <laughs> And today, growing concerns in Chicago, where hundreds of public school students staged a walkout to protest in-person learning and call for more safety measures. Why are they sending, back, sending us back to school? They should make sure everybody take their test, everybody take COVID test. The COVID surge infecting 780,000 Americans every day, more than twice the number rolling up their sleeves for the first vaccine shot. And just 24 hours after the Supreme Court knocked down the president's vaccine mandate covering 80 million workers, tonight, General General Electric suspending its mandate. I think what businesses need to do is take this on voluntarily. Instead of being compelled by the government, they should mandate these vaccines for their own employees. It's really good for keeping their workplaces safe uh, and keeping our country safe. And there are positive signs Omicron is in retreat in the Northeast where it hit hard first. Cases in New York State dropping from 90,000 a week ago to 46,000 today. And hospitalizations are starting to decline too. Turning the corner. You heard it here first. I've been waiting to say that. Well, let's hope that's true here and then moves right across the country just as quickly. Ariel, back with us tonight. And I know there's also a new study of NBA players, but it actually sheds light uh, for us all on just how transmissible this still is and for how long. The new study suggesting uh, that the virus could still be transmissible after five days into the infection. That's right, David. That new study of NBA players showing that more than half that contracted Omicron infections could potentially still be infectious after those five days. Experts say that's why it's so important that you follow the isolation guidelines of five days and mask for five more. David. Ariel Reshef with us tonight. Thank you, Ariel. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.